And what our dancers don't know is that they'll be performing their Broadway routines in front of a fifth fearsome judge. He's an Olivier-nominated star of Broadway and the West End, as well as a TV star and actor both here and in America. It's Mr. John Barrowman. The most important thing for me is characterization. They understand what kind of character attitude they're supposed to get across. The technical stuff of the dance is really important, but you gotta bring out personality. It's show business, it's entertainment. We need to feel entertained in this performance. With John having taken his place on the judging panel, it's showtime for the Broadway performances. And kicking things off are contemporary dancer Ryan, tapper Tom and jazz dancer Luke. In his first audition, Ryan's dancing dazzled the judges and his dad. You are a brilliant dancer. You bring your emotions and you bring great technique. Dance is waiting to sort of release my emotions. And saw him sail straight through to choreography camp. Well, Luke and Tom looked like they might not make it. I'd like to see a bit more personality. I feel like I got to know you standing here and not so much dancing. As their performance styles left the judges unimpressed. Absolutely nothing, not one smile, dead as a doornail. But they eventually earned the golden tickets they needed, and now it looks like the boys mean business. I think as a group we're feeling quite positive, we're quite tight and quite together yeah. and we've helped each other on the bits that we can feature each other on, so we're quite happy with it, I think. Yeah, we've yeah. just got to go for it now and hope for the best. And first group, please. And cue music. I was going to say that, it looks like it's, like it's in West Side Story. What I loved about it is you started off with a complete energy. You were watching each other throughout. I mean, I know that probably other people who were watching, you know, didn't. But you kept an eye on each other. You all performed. I thought it was brilliant. For me, three yeses. For a few moments, I felt like I was sitting in the theatre in the West End. So thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys were living, and I was <laughs> living with you. Yes, yes, yes. In all the quiet spots, you added yourselves, you added your energy, you kept the energy level up. It was absolutely great. It was. It was West Side Story all over again. Yep. And it's so good to see three great guy dancers dancing like that. So you're safely through this round. Thank you very much. How was that? It was really cool. Was it? Um, we got a stand innovation <gasps> by the judges, so it was like, wow, like, wow, like, the guys that I was working with, there's real great energy between us and stuff, yeah. and I think we really pulled it off as a groupie. Good luck with the rest of the week, I hope it goes okay. Fingers yeah. crossed we, do, we go onwards and upwards from yes. here, right? So the boys are off to an incredible start, and they're not the only ones impressing the judges. Catching the eye, hip-hop dancer, James. James, I could see you in the West End. You're back in the game. B-boy, Lee Crowley. Believe in yourself, because you are a hot dancer. Tap dancer, Matt. Matt, you are a star. Every time we see you dance, I just get so excited. Jazz dancer, Lee Bridgman. Good job. Strongest there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Contortion breakdancer Charlie. Charlie, I didn't expect you to be able to do any of this, and you're just charming. And shining brightly for the girls are Richie, 
As a hip hop dancer, I think we all want to congratulate you on doing this. Yeah. Jazz dancer Bethany Rose. Bethany, you did a good job, but what I like about you is that you're very together. Jazz dancer Megan. You led the group. I can see you as being a little bit of a dark horse. Ballet dancer Katrina. Girl, where did that come from? <laughs> that was amazing. This is what you should bring all the time. And contemporary dancer Katie. Katie, I thought you were fab. You like. You're all through. Yeah. Excellent. Well done, guys. <laughs> Our crew. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> the next group hoping to continue the great start features contemporary dancer Bruce and Israel. Hi, my name's Israel. I'm 18. I'm a hip hop dancer. Ever since I started, I've loved it. I've always trained really, really hard and tried to be the best dancer I could be. I was really a shy kid when I was growing up. I wasn't really the most outgoing person. Well, at first, my parents weren't really sure about me dancing. But he had no groove whatsoever. I wasn't really the best dancer at the time. I had two left feet. He was looking like a twonk. After that, just started going to more and more classes. Four months up the road, he was doing his first performance, and he'd just gone on from strength to strength. I'm really proud of him. At his first audition, Israel failed to stamp his personality on his performance. Very static. Didn't excite me at all. You bored me and I was really disappointed. And the judges were split on his potential to go any further. Um, yes to call. Thanks, man. For me, no, I'm over it. I'm hesitantly going to say yes. <laughs> so callbacks. You yeah. had your moment to shine and yeah, you definitely. didn't, so I think for me it's a no. Are you really going to say no? You've been so nice to people. No, no, happy. We'll see you later for callbacks. I just feel you, everyone has their moment, and we can't yeah. say, well, they might do better later. I agree, later. Yeah. but that just remember moment. who you say no and yes to, because he's not the worst we've seen. You know, I feel you've said yes to people. In your opinion, Cisco, my opinion's different from yours. This is true. Bruce, meanwhile, was born to perform. Performing does run through my family. My mother was a dancer. My father owns a circus in Mexico, and he's actually a lion tamer. And I have contortionists, jugglers, all kinds of things in my family, so I guess it's always been a part of my life. His first audition had Nigel Purring. Very, very good. Thank you. Great technique. But Cisco saw a problem. It was a little feminine, so if you would have attacked it to give it a bit more, you know, it would have been even better. I'm feeling quite confident about this afternoon. Um, I'm actually a musical theatre student, so I might get my first good comment from Choreography Camp. Israel's the only one that's getting it. He's hip hop. He's the hip hop dancer. Yeah. He's the only one that's getting it. This kid is good, I think. Yeah. He's, he's, right. Yeah, he's you know what, but he needs to push it up a little bit. And I don't, you know what I mean? He's working hard. Yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah, guys. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Israel. Hi. Um, that was a beautiful disaster. And you know why? The te now listen, it's a good thing. Technique, blah, 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 whatever. In my opinion, you held that group together. You had the character down. It Thank was a great job. Much. And added yourself to uh -huh. the choreography, which yeah. we were all grateful for. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bruce, okay. tell me a little bit about what you were thinking through that whole thing. Um, well, I'm a dealer. And, um, You're a diva. No, a dealer. I'm going to be totally honest with you. It looked like you were performing like a diva rather than a dealer, and that's and I don't I'm I'm being as blunt as I possibly can, butch it up a little bit, okay? It's not a derogatory bad comment because people have said it to me. It just dancing wise and techniques wise, it was wonderful, but what? it just looked a little bit too soft. Soft. 
I'm just desperate for you to show us strength, to show us power, Good. to show us something organic. I, I didn't mean, I'm not meaning to upset no, it's, you. It's, it's, it's not you, it's... What's up? It's, it's, Go. Yes, we we'll could dance. be saying you can't dance. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's Feel a problem. It. You should speak to us. It's not you. you. It's such just like, a like it's it's about the masculine strong thing. It's like it's it's a it's a problem that I have like with my dancing. All you need to do is find the power in you. It's there. It's there inside you. You can't have that talent to have got that far without using that power in you, which is so extraordinary. Either way, just to help you, you are through to the next round. John's comments have clearly hit a raw nerve for Bruce. Next group, please. And as the performances carry on, it seems it's getting harder and harder to please the judges. Ow. Lauren, you've got one facial. These shot ties that I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to smile past it. That don't impress me. You're just throwing yourself into it, You're getting through it. I could get up there and do it better in high heels than some of you. I've said from day one, she is the dancing apocalypse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the good, the bad, the ugly, and they haven't got a clue. <laughs> Ooh. Two and a half hours you've had to learn that. G music. That don't impress me. Andrew, why are you dancing like that? Why? I don't understand why you're not taking this opportunity and living. That don't impress me much. I'd love to see a group come up and when they go into that kick line, like look at each other like, come on girls, we're gonna do it. That we're gonna come kick. Girls. Do we need to see that again? I'd rather not. It's the end of the Broadway round, but there's no rest for Cisco and John. After John picked on Bruce's lack of strength, they've offered him his very own Man Up workshop. I want to have that swagger, which I lack. Step one is the walk. As you step, have a slight sway to it. Hand in the pocket, and it's just bam. And I'm swaying with the walk. My hands are never losing focus. If you don't use the hands, you end up doing this. Both hands in the pocket, we're gonna sway. Just bam. There we go, uh-huh. Just bam. There we go. Much uh -huh. better. 100%. Be cocky with it. Like, lift your chin up. Exactly. One more time. Here we go. Walk and brush. Uh huh. There we go. John and Cisco up my confidence a huge amount. You know, you're getting advice from the best of the best. A complete change of personality. So, well done. You know, the fact that they believe in me is just think is amazing. And I'm much happier now. <laughs> Sit. Good. 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 Sigh. <laughs>